everyone. All right, in the last episode, we went ahead and got our input manager set up. We got that to where we can type in and accept the input, and we also got that integrated into our dialogue system. So now we have ourselves our first logical line, which can run and take care of all that we needed to take care of. So now what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to take the input and we're going to use a tag to inject that into some lines of dialogue that we can call from within our dialogue file. To do that, we're going to make use of our tag manager. So let's open that up. And very quickly, this is going to be very simple. All we need to do is just add one more tag inside of the initialization function. So we'll say tags followed by the name of the tag, which I'm going to make input. What input is going to do, it's going to equal a new return value, which will be our input panel dot instance dot last input. So whenever it finds this tag, it's going to inject it with the last input that was inside of the input panel, which means theoretically what we should be able to do is we should just replace main char with input. And yes, we will be saving the main character name separately and that value will be used, but we're not doing that yet. Again, for a system that is not fully set up yet, we don't have our save files. That's where the character name's going. So we're going to inject input instead. And what should happen is we should have that replaced with whatever I typed in in this logical line. So let's go ahead and start this and see what happens. So what is your name? And then we got what is your name? So I'm going to do uh, Abraham. And then we'll go ahead and accept. Nice to meet you, Abraham. Okay, so it grabbed from our tag manager, found the input tag, and then grabbed the last input that was put into that input panel. And that's it. Super simple episode. All right, next episode, we're going to work on our choice system. That one's going to be interesting. I'll see you guys then.